Hello YouTube, Bear Prepper here. Not a pretty picture. Not sure if the 30 year seeds are bad or if it's just too darn hot. But the only thing that we have coming up that I can tell for sure is the onions and some of the garlics and even the garlic. I mean we planted uh, hundreds of them and we're lucky if we got 25 coming up. I know the water is working because as you can see the sweet potatoes let me try to get over the fence here the sweet potatoes are starting to look really good the hay has really helped them and that peat beet moss <clears throat> is really working good around the asparagus you can see the ones where it's around the asparagus are much healthier than the ones where it's not so I'm going to uh, be putting that beets peats around those I'm also, instead of wasting my energy and all the money and time with the water, I'm going to go ahead and shut off the upper portion of the garden. Just run the lower portion of the garden and I'm going to take the seeds home and try to start them. Then I can bring the starts out because this is not working. But it's good to know and uh, hopefully we'll end up getting something out of it. And if nothing else, we've got the asparagus and the sweet potatoes, and we are going to have some garlic. So, not a success, but we'll get there. Like I said, it's better to learn now than it is to find this stuff out when you have to eat it. We've had absolutely no problems with the deer. Uh, they're not happy, I'm sure. You can see their footprints everywhere. But they have not gotten in. So that makes me very happy. Well, I hope all's well with everybody. And uh, please say prayers for the victims of 9-11. And i also like to take a moment to ask you all to please donate what you can to Storm Relief 2001. You know that here in Texas we're dealing with wildfires. Lots and lots of them. I was able to get out here, which was surprising. They got the fire under control. And um, at least the one that was in my way. And so, you know, on the East Coast, they have to deal with the hurricane and all the flooding that came with it and the continual flooding because of the rains still coming. So, you know, even if you can just give a buck, use U.S. Freedom 22 if you need encouragement and get entered in his contest. He's given away some amazing things. And it only costs you a buck donation. And I'd like to challenge my subscribers again this time to try to give what they can. I know it's tight for everybody. But show your support for your fellow preppers. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Blessings.